Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be recording a pretty long and intense video. It is going to be us doing various things, trying to understand how bidding wars work. So how is this going to go? That is something I'll explain to you along the way. But first things first, I think you all know what a bidding war is. It is something like this something that keeps popping up every now and then when you're trading obviously you must have seen it by now if you've been trading so in the first round of testing we're going to be doing a bunch of trades we're going to be doing them in batches of 10 10 trades each in each batch so that it gets easier for me to count oh and very first trade that we get into we get a bidding war it's only ucl one album but 25k is what we're going to bid we did not get him but it's cool so we do know now that um well that just makes it all the more random doesn't it we're gonna have to see when we next get a bidding war i right, into trade nine and we get another bidding war it's loud drop this time can we get him um we do not because the trade has ended wait what doesn't the bidding war come through at least that's ridiculous I thought the bidding war would come through at the very least, but yeah, 10th trade um, of this batch, we don't get a bidding war, so yeah, we close another trade, but that was weird, um, I didn't realize that you would lose the bidding war if the trade did end just like that, I thought the bidding war would finish first, but seems like we learned something new, at least we have learned something new, if the trade uh, ends before the bidding war has been completed, that means the bidding war does, uh, you know, remains unfinished. Well, how many of you knew that, eh? Alright, so the first batch of 10 gave us two bidding wars. Let's see what we get in the second batch of 10 trades. Tomorrow. That was trade number 9 just then. We're gonna make a couple of changes to our wish list and then go into trade number 10. Um, it's looking pretty dry, this batch of 10, and it makes this bidding war trying to understand bidding wars thing all the more random okay come on finally trade number 19 and we get a bidding war for quadrado who could be kind of useful um but let's bid 50k we lost it um probably should have bid more he is quite useful but yeah it is what it is but it has been pretty dry at this batch of 10 we've only had one and it came in the ninth trade so I don't think we're going to pull up back to back. So it's safe to assume that we've only got um, three from the first 20, three bidding wars in the first 20 or so trades. Okay, so we did indeed try for a third batch of 10 trades, but we got absolutely no bidding wars. So now instead, what we're going to do is keep removing one player each from our wish list every time we go into a trade for 10 continuous trades and see what happens. Obviously, if you guys did see my initial video, which was the one hour trading Madfoot video, you guys might know that the wishlist does play an important role because uh, we had Icon George um, Best and Icon Shoals, um, and we ended up getting both of them in bidding wars. Alright, so just like this, after every trade, we're going to be removing one card each from our wishlist, and that's how it's going to go. Okay, come on, final trade of the 10 and we do not get a bidding war. So not a single bidding war by removing cards from a wish list. So that does not make any difference. And even if it does, it doesn't make a good one. So 40 or so trades in, we have tried a few things like removing cards from a wish list, but we've still only had four bidding wars, I guess, or three actually even, um, if I remember properly. But yeah, so now what we're going to be doing is, you know, adding players and keep changing our wish list. We're going to actually not only remove players, but we're going to add players and keep changing it up and see what happens again. Okay, get Torreira out real quick for two random team of the week silvers. And time to get into what I think is trade number three. Yeah, there you go. Trade number three and we get a Kalor Navas bidding wars. Um, could be a useful card. Let's bid. 75k there you go let's see what happens all right so he is not bid so this is obviously one more thing about bidding wars that you need to know 
if your opponent does not bid you get the card by default so sometimes yeah it does help because you might have bid quite low and you might still get the card so yeah that is quite helpful as well to know about bidding wars all right so final chopping and changing of the wish list and uh, let's see if we can get one more bidding war from a chopping and changing our wish list from the 10 we do not so i think that is four bidding wars out of the 50 trades we've had so far it's time to change things up okay so for the final section of this video we have got a 10 minute timer so we've tested out 50 or so trades so in batches of 10 with different different superstitions but now we're going to give it a timer so let's see how many bidding wars we can get in 10 minutes three and a half minutes elapsed and so far no news of any bidding war two minutes 20 seconds left and we've still not had a single bidding war I do not know what is going on. This could even be the last trade. We don't have a bidding war just yet. He's asking, oh, 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 um, there's the timer. There's the end of 10 minutes. We're going to finish this trade off real quick. It's been taking too long, but I think that we should give it one more trade, one last trade. And fair enough, the game hasn't disappointed Erling Haaland or Haaland or Holland, Erling Haaland. But we've got the card, we've won the bidding war, but um, I think that should be it uh, from the point of, you know, getting in all the trades. Now it's time to, you know, build up a summary and analyze the stuff that we have here prepared for you. Okay, so to put it quite simply, um well we could give this a quick rundown while we look at the new cards um but yeah we had five bidding wars in about 60 70 plus trades and in about an hour of trading so the popping up and you know we have to consider that we got the first two bidding wars within the first nine trades uh so regarding when the bidding wars could pop up i think it's completely random and then if we look at what actually happens in the bidding wars there is two important takeaways you can get from this video obviously there's your normal you can win by bidding higher than your opponent and then you can lose if you bid lower than your opponent but the third scenario is that if you bid and then your opponent doesn't bid that means you get the card by default uh, obviously you will lose whatever coins you had bid that is um, quite understandable and then the next thing is if you have a bidding war that has popped up in a trade but the player your the player you were trading with leaves the trade then the bidding war does not continue mind me it does not continue it becomes null it becomes void any bid you have placed becomes null and void you won't get the card so that is those are the two things you can like probably draw from this video but apart from that this video has actually made me realize that bidding wars is super random and uh, yeah i can't really help you much with bidding wars <laughs> other than give you guys a bit of analysis on as to how they're gonna behave but not on how and when they're gonna pop up so yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video anyways if you did make sure you guys leave a like subscribe for more such content i'll see you guys with another video real soon until then goodbye